Hi, I'm Rob from Access TV. We're here at Diagon Alley, and this is all part of the new Harry Potter studio tour at Leavesden Studios in London. And we're going to be having a chat to some of the stars of the film to see what they make of it all. So let's check it out. John, I guess I guess most of the time in, in movies, you're kind of like the uh, the unseen hero. Everything you do, kind of people will take for granted. And and now with this tour, everyone's going to finally be able to see all the amazing work you and your team have put in to the Harry Potter films. How do you, how do you feel? You must feel really proud of that. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's wonderful. It's it's a tremendous homage to um, British film technicians, if you like. Um, it's it's unprecedented in many ways, and um, I mean, it's been uh, a great privilege to be to be here and be part of it. I imagine when you first saw it, everything kind of put together in, in this display. It must have been it must have been quite an emotional moment for you, because that's like ten years of work, kind of just clumped together in this, yeah. in this big space. How did it feel when you first saw it? Um, well, I'd, I've been seeing it in every stage because I've been putting it in um, and, and building it in the workshop over there or putting it back together. Um, so I'd, I've watched it grow. And have you, have you experienced anyone walking around the first time and seeing all these things for the first time? I guess their reactions when they see everything must be quite it, it's brilliant been, for you wonderful especially watching the children come in and and they're they're running from one set to the other and saying here quick come over here you can make this work and you can watch the broomstick ride and uh, you know it, it it seems to generate a tremendous excitement in the visitors which has been wonderful to see and is there anything that people have been surprised by? Like, for instance, I was really surprised when I saw Buckbeak because I never realised you actually made a physical model of, of Buckbeak. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that people have seen and, and they thought it was just a CG thing? Um, well, a lot of people come and look at the snake door and are amazed that it's, it's there for real and it actually works. Um, a lot of people, I think, saw the movie and just assumed it was a CGI shot. And did you ever get, like, a request where you thought, Goodness me! How on earth are we are we going to make that work? What was the most challenging effect or prop you had to um, make? The, I think every script had about <laughs> a dozen of those in. Um, you know, obviously the, the, the classic one is the broomstick flying because that occurred in every one of the the eight films. Um, and it needed constant sort of upgrading and um, a lot of thought into how we were going to film it to, to make it more dynamic and more exciting than what we've done in the last film. Fantastic. And just to round up then, a bit of a silly one. If you put the sorting hat on, what house do you think it would put you in? Me? Well, it wouldn't be Slytherin. Um, I, th I think it had to be Gryffindor. Fantastic stuff. Oh, it's absolutely a pleasure talking to you. My pleasure.